Quite a minute since we've talked to you. <laughs> it's been a long time. But we, if you follow us on Instagram, you probably already know, but we did some exciting things during quarantine. Well, first of all, we're not traveling anymore. Yeah, we're home. <laughs> but um, we, in the beginning of quarantine, took on this project that is behind us, and we converted a minivan into a Stealth. Sweet camper van. Yeah, stealth camper van, and it turned out sweet. And we had shown a lot of our progress on Instagram, on Instagram um, stories, and a lot of people wanted to see the full thing. And so we have taken it out on a couple um, adventures and kind of... S small ones. Just small Real ones, small like ones. weekend stuff. Um, kind of figured out like what we needed to adjust, what we needed to fix, and... Um, we're at a good place, like it's working great for us and we're super excited about it. But we promised you guys a video showing the whole thing when we're done, so this is it. It's an 07 Honda Odyssey. The White Rhino is its name. <laughs> we call it the White Rhino. And it's funny because when we were pretty freshly married, we watched the show Departures. They had an episode or I don't even remember. They were in Australia. They were in, in so Australia, long. I think, and they bought a van and they call it the white rhino. So we'll show you guys real close, but we gutted the entire thing down to the frames. Yeah. Took out all the seats, all the carpet, all the headliner, took out airbags, which mm -hmm. was interesting. Oh, and something else I wanted to say was that when we were, when we decided to do this, we were trying to do research on minivan build outs to kind of get an idea of what we wanted to do. And there was just nothing. There was a few Pinterest photos um, that kind of gave us some inspiration, but other than that, like no YouTube videos, no Instagram, nothing like that. And so we found it really challenging. And like really when, we, challenging. <laughs> when we started, we had no idea like if it was gonna work. We had no idea what we were doing. We just like took it step by step, you know, decided like, well, we know for sure we wanna structure this and that and this, and kind of just went from there. And it turned out really awesome. And we're really stoked about it. So. Yeah, a lot of people do with Sprinter vans, cargo vans. I've never seen anything quite like this for a minivan. Mm -mm. So hopefully you guys enjoy mm -hmm. and we'll get into it. Okay, so I'll show you guys kind of an overview and then we'll have Kyle do um, all the mechanical, electrical. We have electrical and running water. So he'll show you all that stuff. Um, but we wanted to make it practical, but also spacious, which was difficult. Um, but once we gutted it, we realized that there was a lot more room in here than we then meets the eye when you see it from the outside. So we have um, this feature when you first look in it. This is our couch slash bed. So as you can see, there's two slabs here. Um, so we'll show you um, after I explain it kind of how it works, um, but it separates out into a bed. actually fit here pretty comfortably um it's definitely not like a queen or anything but it's comfortable but then during the day we can like put it up into a nice couch and it's actually really cozy um and this was all just like repurposed stuff that we made it out of so that was awesome and then what else do we have in here so the all of the wood throughout the whole van is also repurposed um it was wood that was just rotting up in a field of my family members and they were like please take it so we went through pulled out all the good stuff and we used it for our whole build which is awesome and um it's actually really pretty too it turned out really nice underneath the structure is um stuff that we bought but the outside is all repurposed wood um so first we have um here in the front we have two storage 
This is something that I don't know that all minivans have, so we got really lucky, but there's a huge amount of storage underneath here. So our plan, and like so far what we've done is kept our blankets, pillows underneath here, our dishes are right here, um, everything like that, and there's plenty of space. My clothes I put under here, so um, there's a lot of space, and we have two access points, one right here and one right here, and these are pretty flat, so we don't notice them when the bed's all made out. So we have a lot of storage there, which is awesome. And then um, we have a couple windows. We decided to close off this window over here um, because we wanted it to be a little more stealthy um, when we're in here. We didn't want so many windows that we'd have to cover. So we decided to close this one. And it's actually kind of nice because we could put decor on it um, and make it feel cozy. And this is our traveling plant. He comes inside when we are home, but he goes in here when we're traveling because it just feels more homey with a plant um what else do we have behind here we have some more cubby space um not a lot but kyle puts his clothes in here and um, it works out fine just a little bit of extra space which is good and then if you want to come back through here that was a struggle <laughs> Um, so we have, we left this side completely open so we could also enter through this spot, which has been really good. Um, and we have curtains, we have all of these curtains that cover everything up. We have curtains on these windows as well. Let me show you. Whoa. So it's very stealthy. Um, but this area over here, so something that we knew that we wanted was a kitchen space which when we were building we had a completely different idea of what this was going to look like but this is how it ended up and it's perfect um and there's a cool feature from the outside that we'll show you as well but we do have running water we've got a sink here with running water um so we can drink water brush our teeth all that kind of stuff um and then there's the spaces under here Kyle will get into this later. That's kind of all of our mechanical stuff. <laughs> That's what I keep calling it. So this is from the other side. So here's our kitchen in here. We actually made it to a height that would be comfortable from the outside was mostly our plan. Um, and we can pull this out and we have that under there. So then we have a workspace, counter space from outside so we can do our coffee or our cooking. Um, we have propane stoves as well, so we can use those. Um, but I feel like this is just a really handy feature and it really expands our space a lot. And I'm super excited about how this one turned out. Okay, so now we're on to the electrical stuff. Um, it's a little bit in depth, but I think it's kind of cool. So what we did is we have two batteries. We have this car battery, our main car battery, and then we have the auxiliary battery, which sits in the back. And that's a completely isolated battery from this. But then we have to do, we have to be able to charge. So our option was either solar panel or to charge off of our alternator. And we're set up to do solar later if we want to, but right now we are off the alternator. So what we had to do is we had to connect cable from here, go through that 150 amp fuse, drops down, and then it goes into the, the main compartment. All right, and then we go into our electrical cabinet. <laughs> was right here and it's gonna be tough to see because this is a pretty deep cabinet but it goes pretty far in there so this right here I don't know if you can see is our cable well actually this is our cable on the other side this is called a battery isolator relay so we control that with a switch which closes the circuit comes through here hooks up to that battery and then we're charging that battery so with the flip of a switch we can isolate this battery which is our auxiliary battery from our main car battery so when we're driving, we can charge this battery. When we're not driving, we can isolate it. And then when we use our lights and stuff, it just comes off of this battery. So then in here, we have our fuse panel, our fuse block, and we have the capability for six circuits, but we're using five. One goes to this um, inverter right here, power inverter. It gives us our 120 volt power, which is right over here on this wall. The second one is this light switch, and we have four can lights, which are pretty cool. They're like two inch can lights. Go on and off. And then another one goes to the roof vent, which is a must 
because it gets steamy in here. That goes on like that. And then we've got another one, which goes to our water pump. Madison showed you earlier. You flip that on, seven gallon tank. Our pump sits right there. All right, so then this is my favorite part of the van. We have our two voltmeters. This is our car battery, 12.5. This is our auxiliary battery, which is at 13. Can you see that? Yeah. And then this is our relay switch, which when we're when the car is running, you flip that, then you can charge off the alternator. So I'll give you a quick example of that. All right, so there you see the two voltages that we have, and then I'll fire up the car, and you'll see the red one jump up to like 14. So that's what the car started, 14 volts, and that's 14 coming off the alternator. And then when I hit that switch, the other one jumps up as well. So now we're charging our auxiliary battery off of our alternator. So there is well, your that's tour. It. That's um, the van, that's the white rhino. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had so much fun building it out and sharing it with you guys on Instagram. And so we were excited to finally do a full tour now that everything is set in stone <laughs> with yeah. the van. There's gonna be little tweaks from here on out, but not a whole lot. We've taken it out twice and it's pretty mm -hmm. good. We it's could live really in it. Good. We could live in it. <laughs> so let us know um, if you have any questions about it. We are more than open to um, answer any questions if you, you know, are thinking about doing something like this, we could let you know what worked for us, what didn't work for us in the build out and anything like that. If you have so, questions, let us have them. Yes. But we hope you guys enjoyed. And um, if you don't already follow us on Instagram, um, we'll have it in the description box. It's, um, but it's Kyle and Madison. And um, we are very active on there and showing a lot of what we do. So what we do in our day to day and our travels and everything like that. So go follow us there. But That's all. Peace.